Hey, hey, what's up, guys? This is Jerry here from Uncle Jerry the 50 Productions. I'm only guest to today on the channel. Today we have a special video because we're going to be talking about did Apple possibly mess up with this new iPhone release? But uh, first, before we get started, let me just say a uh, quick little announcement before we get into the video. If you want to skip ahead, you can. But uh, for the subscribers out there, we are really sorry about the lack of videos recently. Um, I've been going through a lot of stuff with school, and so has Zach. But uh, we promise we are always here to bring you the best content when we can. So please just hang in there with us, and we'll try to get as many um, tech reviews or toy reviews, because Zach loves doing toy reviews, and those are definitely not going anywhere, guys. Just in the year of college, it, he has a hard time making the toy reviews, and when I'm in school as well, during the year I have a hard time making the tech reviews, but somehow together we make it work for you guys. So um, thank you all for staying subscribed, we love you guys, um, please if you want a special video just request it and me and Zach will try our hardest. Uh, I don't really do many toy reviews, but anywhere, anyway we're just going to leave it there. <laughs> So I've been thinking about this a lot for about a month now. The uh, iPhone 10 is about to come out on pre-order and there's all these rumors that's going to be super high in demand and then super low in supply. And the problem with that is that I think a lot of people are skipping over the iPhone 8 just because they know it's the 10, right? So that hurts Apple's sales in the iPhone 8 as in they're not selling as many as they would if it was just the iPhone 8 because then people with the 7 or 6S or even older than that would always upgrade to the 8, obviously. And then you would get the same amount of sales as last year, maybe not as many, but around that same figure. Because the iPhone 10 is coming out later in the year, I feel like a lot of people are skipping the iPhone 8 and that is hurting the sales, which would be okay if they all got the 10, but that's the problem. The iPhone 10, I feel like, is going to be in so short of supply the most people that really want it won't even have it until about March. And then even if you want to walk in store and get it, it could be around March to May by the time they get them in stock in stores that you could just walk in the day of and buy the phone and come out the same day of. And that's the problem because if you wait until March or especially even May to get your phone, then the next phone is already coming out in September, right? And that's only about five months away. So now not only has Apple hurt its sales on the iPhone 8 by a lot of people skipping it, they've also hurt themselves with the iPhone 10 as not having enough supply. And if they don't get them in stock until March to May, a lot of people are gonna say, hey, I'll just wait for the next iPhone that comes out in September that's probably even gonna be cheaper than the 10 and have many different color options with display options and all the kinks worked out. Because let's be honest, the iPhone 10 when it comes out is going to have a lot of kinks. That's not even to mention that the fact that if the iPhone 10 was rushed in any way, we could have a seriously Galaxy Note 7 issue on our hands. And that is very serious and Apple definitely does not need that. So was Apple necessarily wrong for this? I would say no. Because it's not their fault that the iPhone 10 was in such low supply. I mean, it has cutting edge technology that's never even been used on a phone before, like the facial recognition to the level that it's at. It's at least two to three years ahead of anyone else. The fact that OLED displays are not made by them and you have a lot of third party parts coming in with first party parts and it's just never been done before. So it's really short in supply. Like seriously, storage had a huge supply low. There's even a low supply of storage by manufacturers because the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and 10 were taking up a lot of storage. So at the end of the day, I do kind of think it's the consumer's fault for not buying the iPhone 8 and wanting to buy the 10. Especially those who aren't really tech enthusiasts but they think it looks cool because there is such a major learning curve with the 10 too. But also it is Apple's fault for kind of releasing both at the same time. If they would have had the iPhone 8 announced a lot sooner than the iPhone 10, maybe more people would have bought the 8. But at the end, we really can't judge Apple's sales this year because the iPhone 8 and 10 are such new products that has never even been done before. And it's not even their fault because the supply is just low and that's out of their control. So in a weird way, I think we really can't even 
judge the success of the iPhone 10 until the iPhone 11 or whatever comes out next year because those are really going to be the iPhone 8 version of the iPhone 10. if that makes sense. Anyway, let me know what you guys are thinking below about this whole Apple situation. Do you even care about the iPhone? And if you do, would you consider getting an 8 if you couldn't get the iPhone 10 until March or May? Or would you still get the iPhone 10 in March or May and just wait a little longer to get the next iPhone the year after? Let me know down below and thanks for watching guys. Thanks for sticking with us. Peace out. Hope you enjoyed the video.